In Van Wert County, some of the last areas to be home to the black community in the 1800s are still there, though most of those families, or all of those families, are actually gone. The heart of the settlement occurred between 1837 and 1838 when freed slaves moved from the south from Virginia to the area known as Wilshire Township. Fox 35 Gentile Neal went to Wilshire to, and ran to see what she could find of some of the last blacks to live there. Linda Holden doesn't live in the area anymore, but she remembers what it was like in the 1950s. Uh, Julia and Betty were two of the siblings that were a part of the Brown family. And uh, they were in our class at school. And of course, we were a small school. And in our day, you know, they, they participated in everything. They were in all the activities. And um, we really weren't aware that there was any prejudice or anything against, you know, their color. But... Um, when we went to our, on our class trip, we attended uh, New York City and Washington, D.C., and our superintendent, uh, Herb Wise, and his wife, Fern, always accompanied the students on the class trip. Betty and Julia were black and belonged to the Brown family, the same family Harvey Brown belonged to. He was the oldest remaining relative to the last known black family there. He died at 78 in 2010, according to the Van Wert Times Bulletin. Holden says it wasn't until that class trip that she witnessed segregation firsthand. So on the class trip, it was pre-planned that Superintendent Wise and his wife would take Betty and some of the, our classmates went with her. And they had activities for her to attend while we were attending the other activities. And uh, so that was really our, our experience of really knowing that there were places that they weren't allowed in because in our community that was not the case. In Wren, Ohio, not too far from Wilshire, there's a historic cemetery where an old dirt road leads to, shared by two of the oldest black churches. The most recent person I discovered buried there was a reverend in 1940. No one really knows what happened to the rest of the descendants, but those who live in Van Wert County refer to the local history book called District of Greenwood to Wren. That tells of the first 318 free slaves to live there. In Van Wert County, Gentile Nell, Fox 55 News.